the part of class that I like the most is it just seems that everybody brings their A game. And uh, that's, that's what makes this click. It's vitally important to not just the individual, but to Cornell um, and the students as well. The CLASP is really a program that benefits everybody. My learning partner works in the Statler Hotel as a housekeeper. My learning partner um, works as a custodian in uh, several of the dorms on North Campus. My learning partner is a custodian in Claremont Hall. So my learning partner was a janitor on West Campus. She works for Cornell Dining in Nepal in like the back pantry. My learning partner, she's actually wonderful. And I believe she came over to the United States about eight years ago from China, so she speaks Mandarin as her first language. And she was explaining to me that English is her sixth language. I'm interested in golf, he's interested in film, um, he's a poker player. It's so incredible to see how motivated she is to learn. And she was great because she was so open to learning. Well, my learning partner asked me to help him with English, writing English specifically. Then I met her and she was so positive and like um, uplifting. We definitely, uh, I think, built a pretty good personal relationship. I, I really like made a friendship with my learning partner. He was almost like a son, and it was friendly, and we had a good time. I can say that I have only good experience on this class program. Only good. Being a student when I was a kid, it was, I mean, that's what we did. But now, to just go back and, and, and learn again, it was, interesting. I mean, it was pretty interesting to have somebody 19 years old teaching a 59-year-old man how to do a computer again. The experience definitely um, made me humbled to be able to have such a young student teach me stuff that I didn't know. When I started out, I was computer illiterate. And um, so when I heard about the program, I was a little hesitant to do it because I felt um, embarrassed. Um, I didn't feel like I was going to be able to do it. This program helped me a lot. It encouraged me to keep learning. Um, so um, I haven't been back to school since like in 1982. So that was a big fear. Um, but now I'm encouraged to continue to learn and to continue to learn more about the computers. I already spoke to two of my coworkers, which are planning to do it in the fall because they don't know much about computers either. And I think because I did it and they asked me, well, what do you do today? How did you, you know? What did you learn? And I told them, so now they're encouraged to do it also. Uh, I volunteer right now at our local fire department and I'm a treasurer right now and I think I want to pursue that when I retire, so I'm trying to absorb all the stuff I can do on the computer. They all taught me little bits and I'm putting it all together. Um, I didn't even know what questions to ask. No. I love it. I just, I am absorbing everything right now. <laughs> I don't feel like I ever easily learn through the techniques that were being used and the number of schools that I went to growing up. I felt that by always continuing to learn new things, especially as you get older, will help you age, will help you keep your mind sharp. So after working for a while, somehow I ended up inside of RPU and saw where it's written, um, or as Rick Cornell says, any study, any person and it makes me want to work even harder here. Whatever I ask, he was willing to help and uh, he always came prepared then uh, with a bunch of information. They have more patience with us because I can imagine definitely it's not easy to teach somebody who's struggling with the language and uh, especially reading, writing, computer skills. I felt from her that she was deeply, deeply care about me 
in beginning some of them kind of uh, they're a little bit scared in beginning so I can admit that I was a bit nervous and so I was like equal parts nervous and equal parts excited um, I remember our first meeting was very awkward and very like we don't really know how to go about this and like throughout the process we've just like learned to work with each other I, I learned that like giving her more of like uh, exploration and letting her explore the computer before I actually taught her um, something was very helpful. So I've been trying to make um, a lot of the English lessons that I've been doing with her most applicable to her life. So um, focusing on work language and um, particularly like idioms and slang that a lot of Americans will tend to use in English. Throughout the partnership I've learned that it's more so um, a conversation than a lecture. My learning partner definitely knows that um, the best way he's gonna learn is really doing work on his own. So I try to get my learning partner to read more outside of our sessions, pick up books, pick up really anything and just read it. If you match their enthusiasm, like you will get progress done in a very short period of time. She was teaching me so many things, really, um, just about life and having to like work hard and um, picking yourself up by your bootstraps and just all these sorts of things. I want to be a professor at a med school, um, and so I think that the skills that I learned this semester definitely helped me, or will help me a lot um, in the future. There's a lot more that goes into it that I realized on the classroom side of it and was challenged with implementing um, on the partnership side of it. And so one of the things I struggled with with my adult learner was to build her confidence. She had a really hard time believing in herself so um, it was important for me to express that I believed in her and give her the confidence to do these challenging tasks even when she got discouraged. There was still that kind of theoretical part of it of the different parts of teaching and how to how to you know speak effectively and have have an effective lesson plan, I guess, but then there was also that really valuable part that I've never had in my whole four years of having practical experience that goes along exactly with what you're learning. I was surprised at how much I was learning from him as well. Um, so it was just really rewarding in general to capstone my whole Cornell experience um, with probably like the best class or the best experience that I've had throughout like all of the academics. And one thing that class teaches you in depth is just how to maneuver yourself for your learning partner. Change your perspective in a way that will better reach the goal, the learning goal they're trying to get to. I've definitely gained a lot in terms of flexibility, in terms of just opening my mindset to seeing different ways of learning and styles of learning that will work better for different people. And going even into my professional career, um, that's something I would have never, ever had the ex chance to have an experience with in any other class at Cornell, to be completely honest. What better resource to use than our students that are here to teach our st uh, staff and get a experience for the students to teach our staff and our staff to learn from our students. I didn't realize until this past time to hear so much passion from the students that they're getting as much passion out of it as our staff that we're sending there, if not sometimes more. Students come to appreciate the sort of full, rich lives of other people on campus that they may not have had any occasion to think about before. And so getting to know someone in a different walk of life and someone who has more life experience than them, I think is a really eye-opening experience for lots of students. For me, what excites me is the students uh, can become allies. This is a word that comes up now. We're talking about intersectionality. We're talking about becoming allies, uh, breaking systemic oppression. This is a very real way for a student to start and to feel like they had an impact. Through this program, they're very self-confident now. They carry themselves a lot better. They have a lot more confidence. I think it helps people to feel better about themselves and their job and oftentimes to uh, apply some potential that they feel they may have, but they may feel stifled in their current position. We realized quickly in our sessions that we go beyond just the lesson and we go beyond just learning English. Um, we end up sometimes during our sessions talking about our personal lives or our aspirations in life and that to me really exemplifies 
that idea of lifelong learning because it's not just constrained to your lesson plan or your book. You're always learning in different aspects of your life as well. That's where it's just exciting to be in the situation where there's like continuous give and take of information. And I'm really surprised at um, how monumental um, my learning has been um, and hopefully his as well. I learned from him, he learned a little bit from me. Even though our families were completely different, completely different backgrounds, we both could kind of come together and have this similarity between us. I think with the class program, it's nice that you get to work with students, so you're not just, you know, in my area, as cleaning, you know, you're not just cleaning up after the students, you're actually working with the students and to accomplish something, you know. The kids, they help me a lot, so. I'm thankful for class. I'm very grateful. I'm thankful that, you know, I got this learning experience and I can continue to learn. So this is an awesome program. This is one program, one class that will give you that kind of experience to have not only the chance to meet other people and to gain from their experiences, but to also reflect on yourself and see how the approaches that you take the, view, the mindsets that you have not only to education but to learning as a whole can change over time. We're all lifelong learners because we're always able to learn something different and that doesn't necessarily mean it's an academic sense of the word learning, um, but we're definitely always learning from each other. We have an employee that wants to learn, this is Cornell. Uh, we want them to work hard and they do. Uh, we also want them to be able to learn and be able to grow and develop.